making it. We were just trying, you're just trying to hold on to making the show that you want to make, you know what I mean? So we didn't, I mean, I suppose in the back of our minds, you're, you're always thinking, I hope this goes on, this goes further, you know. But when we were making it, we always tried to sort of hold back to just making a show that we believed in, you know. And obviously it's, it's a story that so many people are familiar with from both the book and the film version. What's, what's your sort of way into this story to put it onto the stage? Uh, well, for me it was the book. I mean, I've never seen the film. I've ne- I, I, I didn't watch it when uh, I was doing it because I didn't want to be influenced by it. And I always promised myself that once we were on, I'd watch it. But now I just I can't bring myself to watch it because I might see something in there that I think is better, you know? But um, it was the book, really. It was just the book. And it was, it was really... Um, uh, it was more. It was. It wasn't so much a character thing. It was more about Raoul Dahl. Actually, it was more about sort of just getting into the feeling of his sort of naughtiness, you know, and his sort of. Um, his, there's quite an anarchic spirit in Raoul Dahl, you know, and it was that that I think I felt um, a bit, you know, kind of a little bit at home with, and I could feel <laughs> felt like I could put that on, you know, I could I could wear that a little, you know. Tim came in, I'd, I'd done a f- um, some drafts of it, I'd done about three f- drafts in, so that, that was a period of about 18 months on and off, you know, and then uh, Matthew, the director, came on board, and then he um, was looking everywhere, they, I mean, they, they looked a lot of, in a lot of places, they couldn't quite find the right sort of person, I think, and then Matthew found Tim, and... Uh, you could tell there was a change <laughs> in Matthew, you know what I mean? I think it suddenly made, s- the whole thing made sense for him when he sort of suddenly connected with Tim, you know, and uh, when then I went to see Tim and thought he was amazing, you know, and then we asked him if he'd be interested and he was, and and then that's when the real work started, <laughs> you know. It's one of the wittiest, funniest, most intricate pe- scores I think I've ever worked on. Um, it's exactly that. It's... it's um, it's really challenging because there are so many words um, and because there are so many ideas that move through the music and obviously when we use music in a musical it's often because we want to uh, the emotions or the the things that we're experiencing or trying to share are so uh, important or so heightened that you need to use music right Um, but the detail and level of lyric in this music is huge and when it's cold outside I feel nothing even in the winter storms, I am warmed by this small but stubborn fire, and there is nowhere I would rather be. It isn't much, but it is enough for me. You got one of the most beautiful songs in the show I in do. my house. I'm what, super lucky. What is that like to get out and sing every night? Oh, you know, it's, oh, it sounds so cliche, but it really, it really is. I feel so lucky. Um, it is a beautiful song on its own, but it also, I didn't realise until I started rehearsing, but it is, it's layered with so much, you know, other stuff and undercurrent of what's going on emotionally. So it's quite emotionally exhausting, um, but it is one of the few ballads in the show. And, um, and, and there's something about it that if I'm really connected, it really, it seems to really touch the audience, which is great. Um, it's, it's just, a, it's just, I feel so lucky. It's, I, yeah, it's quite, I feel quite privileged. I think we are a little bit scared of what kids might be worried about. We're more scared than they are, you know, and I think Dahl knew that, and that's why Dahl is still around. That's why we're still reading Dahl, because he doesn't disnify things. He doesn't sort of, he doesn't, I mean, I think kids are as smart as adults, you know. The only, the, the only difference is they're shorter, you know, they're smaller, and they probably don't know as much as we do because we've been around a lot, but they're just as smart as us, you know, and I kind of figured they'd be able to take that. I mean, there are moments where we look at a certain thing and sort of think, is this, is this going to be be uh, difficult you know I mean our guiding thing was uh, Matthew used to say that you know it's good to remember that adults love to cry in a theatre but kids don't like crying you know when a kid is crying that's bad so as long as we, as long as the audience isn't crying we're all right. Happy